Greetings everyone, this is Dr. Hillary here, your favorite nursing doctor from Sweet Feet Diabetic Foot Spa. Today we will answer a question that came via YouTube. So this question came from J. Lee A314, a very good question. Why didn't you debris the white skin? So let's begin with a quick review. Remember this diabetic patient came in with a blister slash callus on the side of his foot that became unstable and fluctuant. When a callus starts to drain or become fluctuant, shows movement, this is a major problem for a diabetic patient. Other comorbidities were the fact that the patient had really bad circulation. After simple debridement of the devitalized skin, we were able to expose what was actually the wound bed. So if you note in this picture, the wound bed is the pink area. Around it is a circle of white. This is known as the peri wound area. The peri wound in this patient is exhibiting maceration. Maceration simply tells us that moisture was on the skin. So in a sense, the peri wound is somewhat intact. It's just macerated or too wet. Imagine a diaper rash in a baby. That is very similar to the situation here. So 24 hours after the debridement, the patient had a telehealth visit with me. This is a picture of what the wound and the peri wound look like at home. As you can see, the peri wound area is showing less white, less maceration because this area is beginning to dry out. When the macerated area dries out, this will expose new tissue that is essentially healed and not part of the wound. This patient's treatment plan included a couple of referrals. Referral to the outpatient wound center for aggressive local wound care and a referral to the vascular surgeon to check the integrity of the patient's blood flow. Again, this patient is very challenging as he has brittle diabetes, poor blood circulation, and a number of comorbidities that are going on. J. Lee, A314, thank you for posing such a great question. Stay tuned for updates and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.